Hey, how's it going? A little bit late with this one. Um, I, I just didn't have enough time on uh, Friday when it comes out in Australia to get to watch the episode. I I was I was re- rendering some other videos for YouTube and. Boy, I was having some issues trying to render those videos, so I didn't get the opportunity to record this. But anyways, yeah, so this is episode three of the final season of, uh, let's, re- so let's sort of recap what's happened over the last two episodes. So, uh, following the end of the previous season, um, Chuck released all the souls from Hell, including unlocking the cage, which had uh, Michael in it, the, well, the Prime Universe Michael, not the obviously Apocalypse One, who is dead. They uh, used some sort of spell to create a force field around the town where the spirit the souls are getting released. Uh, so they're able to sort of contain it for a bit, right? We've learned that basically, uh, following the gunshot from the Equalizer gun at the end of the last season, when Sam shot Chuck in the shoulder, uh, they both have bullet wounds from that, because it's like, it reflects the shot between the two people. The person who shot the gun and the person who got shot by the gun. Uh, the gunshot wound seems to connect them in some way. If one of them touches it, the other one feels pain. It, um, it's affecting Sam in some, probably more, in, in, in more of like a, it seems to be affecting Sam in some sort of flashbacky vision, gives him visions and stuff like that. Uh, whereas Chuck, uh, it seems like that Chuck has lost a decent chunk of his god power since being shot. And this is pointed out by Amara when they're having a conversation. Town. Town was overrun by ghosts. They evacuated everyone out. And the spell which they used to seal off the town uh, was able to hold, even though ghosts were trying to break out. They used one of those soul bomb crystals to absorb a crap ton of ghosts um, and souls. But. You know, they're, they're gonna, that thing's not going to be able to hold every single soul in hell, so it seems kind of inevitable that at some point, likely this episode, that will that the seal will break, and then all the souls spewing out of essentially this, it's like a, it's like a volcano of souls from hell, <laughs> essentially. It's just, it's just spewing out souls, just coming out of what that means to the rest of the season. Uh, obviously, the first episode we sort of had it was more of like a callback episode to some ghosts and stuff like that from previous seasons that they dealt that they dealt with, especially particularly one from the first episode. It's definitely a callback to the first episode. Last episode we saw we saw a thing going on with um, sorry yeah we saw a thing with, between Kitch and Rowena. Uh, they seemed to be hitting me off in some way. They were kind of flirting with each other and stuff. It was kind of a bit awkward. That scene was a bit funny, uh, just because it was like, it sounded like porno music, and I was just like, what's going on? This is so weird. So we'll get started with this episode. Obviously, this is a review, reaction, and discussion of the uh, season so far, and the most recent episode. Again, this is episode three of the final season. Spoilers. Obviously, spoilers. Watching the episode. Essentially, they'll be reacting to moments from the episode, and then discussing the episode afterwards. Um... So yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> that was Jack the Ripper, that guy. That was the soul of Jack the Ripper. It's pretty cool. God damn, it's like a fireworks display. We'll all be home in time for high tea. Somebody's telling me that's not gonna work. <laughs> Case in point, it's like a volcano of souls. Okay, it looks like it's doing something. Or not. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. <laughs> True. That's the longest you've ever looked me in the eyes. You don't have eyes. <laughs> no salt circles. All manner of angry spirits right up in their grill. Sounds like a job of Dean. Like <laughs> yes. Sweet. Oh, sounds like I don't have a choice. Hell heist. Good. There we right. go. It's a hell heist. Go team. Fuck. All right. You got a plan. Catch is dead. Crafter. That sucks. Oh fuck. Get 
it's awfully quiet. That's why I need a uh, bit of password yeah. on your phones, dude. It's not working. Yeah. No, uh, the verse is gas. I think they need to be sung. <laughs> it's just, he's just trolling the shit out of him. Oh, guys, your voice, it's like, uh, like an angel. Shut up. You're gonna need a head start dead now to here. Scraping to Lilith and Crowley, all of them, just waiting for his chance at the throne. And now you're Speaking of Crowley, where is Crowley? Isn't he dead? I would have figured he's probably hiding somewhere blah, 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 blah. rather than being actually yeah, dead. Just Crowley. Is it true? I think Cass is gonna fucking try and take him out. Damn, we're double smited. What the fuck? Do it! Kill me, Samuel! Fucking hell, dude. Are you serious? I know. God damn, dude. Are you serious? Come on. Dude, holy shit. That was a fucking huge episode. God damn. Okay. <laughs> damn. Okay. Wow. God damn. That was a really good. That was a fucking great episode. Well, <laughs> the good news of that episode. <laughs> um, well, wow. the good news of the episode, they were able to close the tear in the earth that was releasing all the souls out of hell. <laughs> And they're able to get all the souls back in. God damn, that was that was a crazy episode, dude. Holy crap. But in the process Catch died in the process. Um Rowena died in the process. Um uh, although she was more of a sacrifice. she more more or less sacrificed herself to get it done. God damn, man, that was a crazy episode. Um, and seems like Cass is leaving. Yeah, god damn, that was a that was a really crazy episode. That sort of wrapped up the first three episodes of the season, um, as well as the season finale, essentially. Um, yeah, I I have I have no idea. What's gonna happen now? I mean, I mean, I'm assuming Cass isn't gonna leave forever. I'm assuming he's like gone for the entire season. I hope he's not gone for the entire season. He's um, yeah, good yeah, then. That was a really good episode. I'm guessing maybe the next part is gonna be them hunting down Chuck, trying to find Chuck and likely try and kill him? I don't know. We shall see. I have, yeah, I have literally no idea what's gonna happen next. That really sucks that Rowena's dead. That really, really sucks. And Cat as well. And, I mean, I really, I really liked, I'm assuming Jack's gonna come back as well. The only problem is obviously Cass destroyed Jack's body. Uh, and the body's in hell as well. So, if Jack's gonna come back from the empty, who knows how it's gonna work out. I mean, it's, I feel like Cass kind of fucked up. I feel like Cass should have let both of them do his thing, honestly. Um, and they could have dealt with that afterwards. He's right, like, Dean, in my opinion, was right. That issue. Yeah. 
kill him off it. But yeah, that was that was a really good episode. Probably best episode episode of Supernatural in quite a while. But like it's it was that was an exceptional episode for sure. I was just thinking, like, man, they better release, like, a full box set for Supernatural, like, all seasons. They better do that. That would be great. Um, yeah, anyways, appreciate everyone who decided to watch this today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully next week I won't be a day late. <laughs> um, but I've got, a lot of, I've got a lot of uni work to do, man. I've got four weeks left of uni for the rest of the year. And a fair amount of work to do, so... Anyways, appreciate anyone who chose to watch the video. Um, see you guys in the next one, and uh, have a good one.